earlier we said one important uh, um, characteristic or feature for electrochemical reaction is the separation of the oxidation and the reduction half cell reaction. Specifically, the geometric or separation, a separation by certain geometric distance between where the oxidation half cell reaction is occurring from where the reduction half cell reaction is occurring. Now let's again look at our uh, electrochemical cell consists of zinc, copper, and in between an electrolyte that contains zinc ion, and copper ion, and the balanced um, anion would be chlorine ion. Okay, this is our electrochemical cell, and we kind of have the schematic here: zinc metal, copper metal inserted into a electrolyte solution that contains zinc ion copper ion as well as the counter ion which is chlorine anion. The cations are zinc and copper and the anions is the same as chlorine. Okay, so let's look at, at such a electrochemical cell and uh, we have between the two metal electrodes we can have an external circuit of course under open circuit condition this resistance for external circuit goes essentially towards infinity and if you want you can add a voltmeter to measure the potential uh, difference between the two metal electrodes okay so as we said before what people observed is um on the so-called anode where the oxidation or anodic half cell reaction occurs on the anode where the oxidation and the, or anodic half cell reaction the zinc which is the more active metal the zinc metal becomes zinc 2 plus or zinc ion and the release electron release electron and we have the so-called oxidation or anodic half cell reaction from zinc metal 0 plus to zinc ion 2 plus and release to electron release to electron that is what happening at the anode or the oxidation electrode this is this part of the half cell reaction we call it as we know before anodic or oxidation half cell reaction and of course sometimes you may see that in some situation people put a um, iron permeable membrane between the two electrodes that separate the electrolyte um, into two parts sometimes people do this and we will talk more about uh, the function of such membranes in in um, future and sometimes they serve very important role but anyway we talked about the anode zinc metal gives out the electron to become zinc ion and that electron will move through the external circuit if it is not open circuit it will access electron will move through the external circuit and uh, into the copper electrode and that's the so-called cathode where reduction or cathodic half cell reaction would occur okay the electron flows into the copper cathode and then over there, the electron flow and uh, attract and combine with copper 2 plus, copper ions. The electron and the copper ions combine at the interface, which means copper ion got reduced or go through cathodic reaction to become copper zero, copper atom, and got deposited onto this copper electrode 
Okay. So now we see one side of the electrochemical cell, we have zinc metal become oxidized or go through anodic half cell reaction to give out the electron, and that electron cannot pass through the electrolyte, cannot go through with or without membrane. It has to go through an external circuit. Could be a copper wire, could just be another metal link them together, and then goes into the other or so-called cathode where the electron combine with the ions from the electrolyte, in this case copper ion, to form zero uh, valence neutral copper atom that got deposited or plated onto existing electrode, which is in this case copper electrode. Okay, and then this part, uh, right hand side, this part copper ion combine with electron to become copper a metal. This we call cathodic or reduction half cell reaction. And then you see in this case we have clearly geometrically separated. That's just always a distance, geometric distance is now zero. Geometrically distance quite often on the scale of microns or even millimeter or even longer scale separation between where the oxidation or anodic half cell reaction happens from where the reduction or cathodic half cell reaction happens. That's what we said a important feature for electrochemical reaction. Geometrical separation between the oxidation part and the reduction part between the anodic part and the cathodic half cell reaction. And that is a very important feature or distinction from electrochemical reaction versus a typical some other oxidation reduction reactions such as the combustion of hydrogen gas with oxygen in the gas phase. Over there, the, there's almost no geometric separation. It just transfer of uh, electron right away in the same molecule. Here we can have a a microscopic separation on the scale of uh, microns, and in some cases even millimeter or even uh, centimeter meter scale separation between where the oxidation happens and where the reduction happens.